Good evening, and welcome to St. Jane Francis de Chantal Church. Tonight, there will be an adoration of the Blessed Sacrament in Caulfield Hall immediately following Mass at adoration time. At the closing of tonight's Mass, we ask that you leave in silence, observing a sacred reverence both in the church and in the narthex. The readings this evening can be found in the programs on the table at the entrance of the church. Please stand as we begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Que le Seigneur soit avec vous. Very happy to begin our celebration this evening of these sacred days of preparation for the great mystery of the resurrection. We come together tonight as two communities. St. Jane Francis de Chantal Parish and St. Louis de France Parish, and so very happy to have both of our communities here gathered together this evening. Normalement, le curé de la paroisse St. Louis de France est là avec moi, mais franchement, uh, je n'ai aucune idée où il est ce soir. Mais uh, nous prions pour lui et pour toute l'Église. Mais je suis désolé que vous n'avez que moi ce soir. Eh bien, Père Morgan aussi. Mais en tout cas, je suis vraiment content que vous soyez là pour célébrer cette, euh, ces, ces jours avec nous, ce soir avec nous, ce mystère euh, de l'Eucharistie. As we come together, we do so remembering that our Lord is gentle with those who have humble hearts. Je ne suis pas resté le gardien de mon frère. 
Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death and trusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Seigneur Dieu, Tu nous appelles à célébrer la très sainte scène où ton Fils unique vont te se livrer lui-même à l'amour. A remis pour toujours à son Église le sacrifice nouveau, le repas qui est le sacrement de son amour. Donne-nous de puiser à ce grand mystère la charité et la vie en plein et tout. Par Jésus-Christ, ton Fils, notre Seigneur, Qui vit et renaît avec toi dans l'unité du Saint-Esprit, Dieu pour les siècles des siècles. Reading from the book of Exodus, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If your family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one, 
and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. Lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand, you shall eat it like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generation shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Première lettre de Saint Paul, apôtre aux Corinthiens. Frères, moi, Paul, j'ai moi-même reçu ce qui vient du Seigneur, et je vous l'ai transmis. La nuit où il était livré, le Seigneur Jésus prit du pain, puis, ayant rendu grâce, il le rompit et dit :« Ceci est mon corps, qui est pour vous. Faites cela en mémoire de moi. » Après le repas, il fit de même avec la coupe, en disant « Cette coupe est la nouvelle alliance en mon sang. Chaque fois que vous, me, vous en boirez, faites cela en mémoire de moi. » Ainsi donc, chaque fois que vous mangez ce pain et que vous buvez cette coupe, vous proclamez la mort du Seigneur jusqu'à ce qu'il vienne. Parole du Seigneur.
According to a jaw. Glory to you, o Lord. Before the pass before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, he put his garments back on and reclined at table again. He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you also should do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So again, welcome to all of you and uh, Welcome to those of you who are joining us through the live streaming of the Mass this evening. You know, because we have been made in the image and likeness of God, it is natural for us human beings to seek God. But that does not mean that our search is always fruitful. There are some people, many in fact, who do not actively search for the presence of God in the world or in their lives. For some people, the search seems too difficult and demands too much in terms of time and effort, so they do not try and they resign themselves to the hope that God is somehow, somewhere out there to be called on only in moments of greatest need. Although when they make the call, it's often not made with much confidence. Then there are others who search does not go far, not even beyond the limits of themselves. They fail to find God, and failing to find God, they determine that they are gods of a sort with divine authority to determine what is right and wrong, good and bad, mostly to conform, to confirm their own limited point of view and to validate their own conduct. Then again, some people look too far and determine that God is so remote that God is unattainable, and therefore essentially unknowable, and therefore not so very relevant for our small and brief lives. 
cross. However, none of that is true. The effort to seek God is not beyond the ability of anyone. While it does take effort to search for God and to know God, living without God takes even more effort. And it is a greater struggle than struggling with the mystery of God. And we are not God. We are creatures. We have not made ourselves, we have not given ourselves life. Our world and our lives come from God and God alone. And what is more, God is not remote or distant, but present and active in our lives and in the world. And as Jesus declared time and again, the kingdom of God is not far. It is, in fact, at hand. The truth is that if we seek God, we will find God, as long as we do not overlook God. God, which we can do if we are not careful. God can be found where two or three or many are gathered in his name. God can be found in the beauty of the world created by God but also in the blessed union of a man and woman living a consecrated life together as husband and wife, revealing to all the world the fidelity, love, forgiveness, and unity of God with his people. God can be found in the compassionate works of charity undertaken for the poor in his name. God can be found in the words of scripture, the collective prayer of the church, and in the confession of sins. And God can be found in the consecrated bread and wine as it becomes the body and blood, the soul and divinity of Christ Jesus, who nourishes the humble God-seeking heart with his body and blood, soul and divinity, all that comes from his sacred heart. Yes, God can be found by those whose open hearts do not overlook him here and in the way God chooses to come to us. Parce que nous avons été créés à l'image et à la ressemblance de Dieu, il est naturel pour nous, êtres humains, de chercher Dieu. Mais cela ne veut pas dire que nos recherches soient fructueuses. Il y en a beaucoup en fait qui ne recherchent pas activement la présence de Dieu dans le monde ou dans la vie. Pour certaines personnes, la recherche semble trop difficile et demande trop de temps et d'efforts. Alors, ils se résignent à croire que Dieu est, d'une manière ou d'une autre, quelque part, là-bas, pour être invoqué uniquement dans les moments de plus grande urgence, même si l'appel est souvent fait sans grande confiance. Ensuite, il y en a d'autres dont la recherche ne va pas loin, pas même au-delà d'eux-mêmes. Et à défaut de trouver Dieu, ils décident qu'ils sont des dieux dotés d'une autorité divine pour déterminer le bien et le mal, principalement pour confirmer leurs propres valeurs, leur point de vue limité et de valider leur propre conduite. Là encore, certaines personnes regardent trop loin et conclut que Dieu est inaccessible, lointain, est essentiellement inconnaissable, et donc peu pertinent pour nos petites et brèves vies. Cependant, 
rien de tout cela n'est vrai. L'effort pour chercher Dieu n'est pas au-delà de la capacité de quiconque. Bien qu'il faille des efforts pour rechercher Dieu et connaître Dieu, vivre sans Dieu demande encore plus d'efforts et constitue une lutte plus grande que lutter avec le mystère de Dieu. Et nous ne sommes pas Dieu. Nous sommes des créatures qui ne sont pas créées, euh, qui ne se sont pas créées et ne se sont pas donné la vie. Notre monde et nos vies viennent de Dieu et seulement de Dieu. De plus, Dieu n'est pas éloigné de nous, mais présent et actif dans nos vies et dans le monde. Et son royaume n'est pas loin, selon Jésus. La vérité est que si nous cherchons Dieu, nous trouverons Dieu aux conditions de ne pas négliger Dieu, ce que nous pouvons faire si nous n'y prenons pas garde. Dieu peut être trouvé là où deux ou trois sont rassemblés au nom de Jésus-Christ, le Fils de Dieu venu pour nous racheter. Dieu peut être trouvé dans la beauté du monde que Dieu a créé, mais aussi dans l'union bénie d'un homme et d'une femme, vivant ensemble une vie consacrée en tant que mari et femme, Révélons au monde entier la fidélité, l'amour, le pardon et l'union de Dieu avec son peuple. Dieu se retrouve dans les œuvres de charité compatissantes, entreprise en son nom en faveur des pauvres. Dieu peut être trouvé dans les paroles de l'Écriture, dans la prière collective de l'Église et dans la confession des péchés. Et Dieu peut être trouvé dans le pain et le vin consacré, car il devient le corps et le sang du Christ, Jésus, qui nourrit l'humble cœur en quête de Dieu, avec son corps et son sang, son âme et sa divinité qui vient de son cœur sacré. Oui, Dieu peut être trouvé par ceux qui œuvrent le cœur, et ne le néglige pas ici et de la manière où Dieu choisit de venir à nous. I invite those who are participating in the act of having their feet washed to come to take their chair and to place it around the edge of the sanctuary. J'invite tous ceux qui vont participer à cette cérémonie où uh, le pied sera uh, lav lavé par les prêtres. And if you would remove um, one shoe and one sock for our purposes.
you please stand? Frères et sœurs, rassemblés pour la prière commune, supplions le Seigneur très bon pour nous-mêmes et pour tous les hommes. My friends gathered here to pray together, let us pray to the Lord for ourselves and for everyone who is in need. On this night in which the Lord established the priesthood, all priests will be guided by the Holy Spirit to find messages of hope and encouragement to weary and anxious believers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour le peuple ukrainien qui souffre des ravages de la guerre, afin qu'en ce moment sombre pour leur pays, Ils puisent leur force dans le sacrement du corps et du sang de Jésus. Prions. Seigneur, exauce-nous. That through the intercession of Saint Jane Francis de Chantal and Saint Louis de France, the power of the Holy Eucharist will penetrate the hearts of all our believers, so that Christ will become the source and summit of our lives. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour la population de Gaza et pour les otages israéliens, que des gens de foi, de force et de courage se lèvent pour mettre fin à leur souffrance et mettre fin à la guerre. Prions. Seigneur, exauce-nous. For all the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, for those who have died and for all who love them, that they may know your comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour que les intentions contenues dans notre cahier d'intentions de prière et celles que nous portons dans le silence de nos cœurs soient exaucées, prions. Seigneur, exauce-nous. Regarde avec bonté, Seigneur, le peuple qui se confie en ta miséricorde. Et comme il ne peut subsister sans toi, soutiens-le maintenant de tes bienfaits pour qu'il progresse jusqu'à l'éternité. Look with favor, O Lord, on your people who trust in your mercy. And as they cannot live without you, sustain them now with your blessings so that they may proceed even unto eternal life, through Christ our Lord.
Pray now, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these sacred mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Accorde nous, Seigneur, nous t'en prions de participer dignement à ces mystères. Que chaque fois qu'il célèbre ce sacrifice au memorial, c'est l'œuvre de notre rédemption qui s'accomplit. Par le Christ, notre Seigneur, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of our everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we acclaim without end. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son O Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Passion qui nous sauve, de sa glorieuse résurrection, 
de son ascension dans le ciel. Alors que nous attendons son dernier revêtement, nous t'offrons, Seigneur, en action de grâce, ce sacrifice vivant et sain. Regarde, nous t'en prions, l'oblation de ton Église, et daigne y reconnaître ton Fils qui, selon ta volonté, s'est offert un sacrifice pour nous réconcilier avec toi. Que nous serons nourris de son corps et de son sang, et remplis de l'Esprit Saint. Accorde-nous d'être un seul corps et un seul esprit dans le Christ. Que l'Esprit Saint fasse de nous une éternelle offrande de ta gloire, pour que nous obtenions un jour l'héritage promis avec tes élus. En premier lieu, la bienheureuse Vierge Marie, Mère de Dieu, avec Saint Joseph, son époux, le bienheureux apôtre, le glorieux martyr, et tous les saints qui ne cessent d'intercéder auprès de toi et nous assure de ton secours. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in all its fullness, as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Father, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Seigneur Jésus-Christ, tu as dit à tes apôtres, je vous laisse la paix, je vous donne ma paix. Ne regarde pas nos péchés, mais les foi de ton Église. Pour que ta volonté se complice, donne-lui toujours cette paix et conduis-la vers l'unité parfaite, toi qui vis et règne pour les siècles des siècles. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Voici l'agneau de Dieu, voici celui qui enlève les péchés du monde, heureux les invités au repas des noces de l'agneau. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Oh, 
Let us pray. Prions. Mm. 
Nous avons repris des forces du Tout-Puissant. En célébrant aujourd'hui la scène de ton Fils, accorde-nous d'être ressassés au banquet, au banquet de la Trinité. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. In a moment, we will begin our procession and adoration. Our procession will go to Caulfield Hall, where we will have adoration until 11 o'clock this evening. Um, I forgot to mention, for those of you who are part of the parish of Saint Louis de France, if you would leave your offering there in the baskets in the entry. If you've already made a contribution, just let our, our rushers know and so forth, and we'll make the correction. Si vous faites partie de la paroisse Saint Louis de France, vous pouvez laisser votre offrande ce soir dans le panier à l'entrée. Si vous avez déjà contribué à, um, au panier, um, Dites-nous et euh, nous euh, ferons tout ce qui est nécessaire pour régler cette, euh, cette, matière, cette matière. 